Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today I'll be showing you how to fit one of these, the Corsair H150i Pro RGB AIO cooler into our Project Beast Ripper PC build. Just a short message, this video was made possible thanks to Funky Media. You can support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and by clicking on the affiliated links down below. If you're planning to make a purchase, why not visit our Amazon store uh, to find some great bargains. Thanks for your attention and enjoy the video. Alright, so we have the uh, Project Beast Ripper build right here. This is a uh, AMD Threadripper 1950X uh, system on a uh, X399 motherboard from ASRock. And you can see it's a massive case. and. Uh, yeah, it should fit the uh, 360 radiator of the uh, Corsair H150i Pro RGB all-in-one cooler. Uh, we're going to open this and we're going to fit it in there and uh, see how it goes. So let's begin. Right, let's do a quick unboxing. Warranty guides. Instruction manual. All right, it comes with the uh, magnetic fans, 120 mil, three of them. One, two, three. But we won't be using these. We're going to be using the uh, the Corsair LL120 RGB fans. So it's going to be fun with all the RGB. So we'll replace those fans with the uh, LL120. Okay, and we have some uh, mounting brackets here for your. Uh, AM4 sockets and uh, Intel, um, but uh, this one uh, doesn't come with a TR4 bracket. You're gonna have to buy that separately, and I've got that on the other side, so I wouldn't get that. So we need the screws and also the uh, the mounts for the uh, bracket for that. Okay. All right, here we go. It's a nice large cooler. It's a 360 millimeter radiator. All right, it's so a nice large radiator. It's a 360 millimeter radiator. It's going to fit uh, three 120 fans on this beast. All right, there you go. Nice. And that should fit there nicely in the uh, thread ripper build. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, the water block. This one is the uh, Corsair H150i, and incidentally, this is the same water block that we have for the uh, uh, 159i. It has a built-in pump as well, and with RGB as well. It's nice. Okay, and then you got all the uh, power connectors, and uh, uh, yeah, great. So let's mount some fans on there. We'll be using the L. L120 RGB fans from Corsair. All right, let's let's do that now. So here we have the LL120 RGB fans. It's a pack of three, and uh, that should fit in the, the radiator quite nicely. And this is the uh, TR4 bracket I was talking about. So this is needed uh, for mounting your water block to the uh, X399 motherboard, just like that. TR4 bracket. And we've got the screw mounts and everything in there, so we need those. Let's mount some fans, shall we? I love these fans. It's got this nice ring around the uh, the blades there, give you a nice RGB effect. Very nice. All right, so I'll mount these fans onto the radiator. Measuring it up, make sure they all fit nice. Yep, I think that's that's all good.
Next, of course, is uh, fitting the RGB controller to connect with the fans. Yeah, there's tons of cables, but uh, this is going to be fun. To RGB hub, right there. So that goes into the RGB hub there. Some cable management is needed. Look at these cables, man. All right, now we shall mount this whole thing to our Beast Dripper system. All right, let's take a look inside. See what we have here already. We have the uh, Noctua cooler, as you can see, uh, with some uh, thermal take ring fangs. So we're going to take that out and uh, mount the uh, water block and put the radiator on this side. Okay, let's begin. So the TR4 kit comes with these uh, mounting screw kind of uh, spacers. So we'll need to mount these uh, onto the actual uh, TR4 socket right here. So let's give it a try. Okay. There. That's one. All right, so we're gonna mount this TR4 bracket onto the, uh, the water block. And this is the in original Intel one, so we take that off and we put the uh, TR4 bracket, depending how you wanna put your, or lay out your uh, water block. So I'm gonna kind of do it this way and this will come around uh, probably like that. Okay, so I want the nice Corsair logo to facing upright and uh, should be like this. So let's mount this here like that. And we're done. The uh, two screw mounts are narrower than the base. So then this mounts nicely like that. All right, this is where it gets tricky. So um, we mount this first, then we mount the, uh, the radiator. Okay, let's go. Okay, now that's done. Let's mount the, uh, the water block. As I said, this is the tricky part. All right, so with the water block mounted, uh, I will secure it with these uh, nuts. Right, so now the water block's nice and secure uh, on the TR4 mounting bracket. And now next what we need to do is to mount the radiator onto the uh, chassis. All right, let's swivel this around. Take the front panel off. And now you can see plenty of uh, space for my uh, radiator. Right. Okay, we want this, all these cables thrown at the back and we'll tidy the cables later. So that's nicely mounted secure, the radiator. And uh, you see from the side, there's your radiator with the fans. Very nice. The only thing to do now is to tidy the cabling and then have it all set up and running. So that's our next job, cabling. Trust me, you do not want to do this. We'll get there in the end. 
We'll get there. All right, so now we've actually completed the build. Here we mounted the, uh, the Corsair H150i Pro RGB AIO cooler. And you can see now there's the Corsair water block right there mounted on the uh, TR4 socket uh, for the uh, thread ripper system. And then over here, you can see then the 360 radiator with the uh, Corsair LL120 fans. So those are actually all mounted with the RGB hub. Uh, See at the top right here also we've actually got the uh, the ML140 fans, the RGB. So this is all going to be RGB'd up with the Corsair fans and obviously with the uh, RGB water block it's going to be uh, pretty nice. Uh, well of course we have the Corsair RGB RAM as well. So this is going to be quite nice looking. Alright, so um, let's put the RAM in and we'll power this up and see how it performs in terms of cooling and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, the moment of truth. Let's power this baby up. Woohoo! Check that shit out. All right, here we have the uh, the Corsair H150i, the uh, Pro RGB AIO cooler with the uh, water block right here and the three uh, LL120 fans. Uh, mounted on the uh, 360 radiator and um, also we have uh, previously installed the ML 140 RGB fans the top here three at the top one the side the back and then here with all the RGB including the RGB Avengers RAM it looks delicious all right uh, I should be getting some nice low temperatures uh, on the uh, Threadripper 1950X and uh, yeah this is what a hell of a system. Thank you, Corsair. At full load, using the default auto settings, the temperatures reach a high of 68 degrees Celsius, which is acceptable considering our fan speed was at a very low 2400 RPM. Remember, the CPU has a DTP of 180 watts, so uh, yeah, it's not too bad. If you want silent operation, then use the included ML120 fans. But if you're into your RGB lighting, then there's no reason not to replace them with some really cool LL120 RGB fans. Use the Corsair IQ software to control the speed of the fans as well as your AIO water pump. This cooler is amazingly easy to install and fits in the majority of CPU sockets, including both the Intel and AMD processors. But for the AMD Threadripper, you need to purchase the TR4 bracket separately. With a large 360mm radiator, just make sure you have a big enough chassis Otherwise, you might want to check out Corsair's other version, the Hydro Series H100i. If you want a large AIO cooler with decent cooling performance and RGB, then seriously check out the Corsair H150i Pro RGB cooler. It offers good cooling performance, silent operation, and it's all part of the Corsair IQ family. For more information, check out our review on our website at funkykit.com. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave a comment down below. You can actually buy this via the links in the description and of course don't forget to visit our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.